you are passionate about solving problems that's why you become an entrepreneur even though you know that you are solving customers problem still people are not buying your product or service many people say that your product is good but they are not still buying it If this is your situation this video is going to help you in this video i'm going to help you with three questions which will make you to think deeper about solving customers problem Greetings. My name is Subramanian. I'm author of the book Anybody Can Sell and Sales for Startups. You are in the video series of my second book Sales for Startups and this is chapter number 2 and the title is What is the customer problem you are solving? If you want to see the video series of my first book Anybody Can Sell, 18 videos are already uploaded in my YouTube channel. You can watch that. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. and don't forget to press the bell icon let's come back to this video what is the customer problem you are solving this question is very very important right i know you have answered this question and that's why you have started a company but there are three more questions which you have to think deeper question number 1 is the problem you are solving is big enough So are you solving a problem which is very small in this world or it is really really big so the pain is really really big because when you raise funding the investor is going to ask you ask this question okay if you are solving a very small problem then nobody is interested nobody is interested in giving you 1 million dollar or 2 million dollar okay you have to solve your problem which is really big if currently you are not solving a problem which is big enough you can tweak and pivot and take a problem in the same domain same area what you are currently working with and solve a bigger problem that's going to make a huge difference my friends so question number 1 is is the problem you are solving is big enough question number 2 is are there more people having this problem because your problem may be big but there are only handful of one or two three people or few people are very few percentage of people are having this problem then it is not going to be exciting your growth is going to be a problem your scalability will become an issue not only today you will have that energy and passion after some time you see you will not find much customers so ask yourself this question the problem you are currently solving or more people are having it if not then take a problem where more people are having that same kind of problem okay i'm sure all, as entrepreneurs you can understand this don't feel bad about tweaking or pivoting nothing wrong all the big companies all the successful companies you see they start with a small problem and then they tweak it or they start with a problem which only few people had and they start expanding their problem solving ability they in other words they expand their market okay question number 3 is is it economically viable to solve that problem you may the problem may be correct people are having their problem but people are ready to live with that problem they don't want to pay you money to solve that then what is the point of solving that problem so before taking which problem you are going to solve talk to a few prospect customers and ask them whether they are ready to pay money to solve this problem okay because many many people may be ready to live with that correct if you if you have a target segment and just, 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 just let me just give me an example okay one of the small startup i was consulting with they said that they are creating this particular app only for solopreneurs solopreneur means the entrepreneur would not have any employees maybe a trainer or a coach or a consultant kind of people right solopreneurs but my question to them is actually our microsoft excel sheet can solve that problem they said no 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 the the startup founder said no we are coming with this extra feature and all those stuff it will uh, it will not have that uh, pain it can give uh, the analytics in one click and all those stuff but my question to them is as a solo entrepreneur myself oh it's good to have that but will i be ready to pay 1 dollar every month to get that extra feature or 10 dollar every month to get the extra feature no i'm okay with that it may take some extra 1 minute for me to do it in excel i'm okay with that 
so you may be solving your problem many people may have that problem but your prospect customers are ready to live with that they don't want to pay money to you for that so this economical viability is very very important so friends to summarize the problem should be big enough and the problem should be for big enough means it should have a lot of pain for your prospective customers currently and a lot of people should have that pain and people should be ready to pay money to you to get rid of that pain right only take those kind of problems if you're already taking a smaller or lesser people having their problem pivot it tweak it and take a different problem to solve as entrepreneurs we solve problems and we make this world a better world right that's why we are very passionate about being an entrepreneur so if you like this video please share it with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to have a one to one hand holding session or consulting session with me you can reach out to me in the mail id given in this video of course it is going to be a paid session if there is any corporate training needs sales training needs you have you can again mail me to in the mail id given here subramanian@subu.co and uh, Stay tuned we are going to come up with a video of each chapter of my second book sales for startup thank you for watching